Vamos aos últimos jogos deste primeiro dia do Coimbra 2024 World Bosch Paralympic Qualification Tournament. Recebam calorosamente os jogadores para o Round 2 BC3 Pairs. Welcome to the last matches of this first day of Coimbra 2024 World Bosch Paralympic Qualification Tournament. Please welcome the teams for Round 2 BC3 Pairs. In court number one, round two, BC3 pairs, the match between Poland and Sweden. The official, Helena Bastos. Representing Poland, Damian Ikziki and Edita Oxars. Representing Sweden, Maria Bustom and Christopher Agdal. In court number two, for round two, BC3 pairs, the match between Japan and Italy. The official, Andort Anderson. Representing Italy, Mirko Garav Gravatglia. E Julia Marquisio, representing Japan, Ayane Ikino e Masuki Arita. In court number three, for round two, BC three pairs, the match between Greece and Singapore. The official David Enriquez, representing Singapore, Aloysios Gankai Hong and Zé Ningto, representing Greece, Grigorius Polikronidis and Anantenta. In court number four, four round two, BC3 pairs, the match between Peru and Great Britain. The official, Marta Panufnik. Representing Great Britain, Will Harnot and Sally Kingston. Representing Peru, Nurka Calupe and Dean Costa. Good luck to you all. Start warm up.
start matches. So we are back for the last four matches of this day one. In court one, we'll have Poland versus Sweden, then court two, Japan versus Italy, Greece versus Singapore in court three, court number four, Peru versus Great Britain. Hello again, hello to all of you that are watching us in the live stream of this great competition. Coimbra 2024 Bossia Paralympic Qualification Tournament Now with Paris VC3 Like Nuno said before uh, Nuno Lasco uh, Ask us how, how is uh, Where is Dina Costa from Peru He's playing in the court number 4 Here in live stream We only broadcast The court number 1 but during the game, we will make the update of the results. But for all of you that are watching us, send a message and we'll try to answer your questions. Even if you are new in this sport, you can try to ask us about uh, how the sport runs and we will try to, to, to answer for your questions. So, here at the beginning of the match in court number one, Great start here from Poland, Damien with a good placement shot of the first ball in front of the Christopher from Sweden. So in this case be Maria Brustrom to play to try to open this situation. Looking for the rankings, Poland is actually the number Eight of the world and Sweden the number 16 uh, good players here Damien from Poland was third in European Championships and this pair also won the silver medal in, in Rotterdam last year on the other side we have uh, Maria Bjorstrom from Sweden made the bronze medal in European Championships. So we expect your good level of play. And don't forget to talk about Edita that won the silver medal in individual competition also in Rotterdam last year. So we are expecting here good balls like we start to, to, to watch and after Maria opened the situation, Christopher with a good placement shot, but that position in the left side of the players um, can be easily removable from the Polish. We will be what will be the option of the Poland. Like we said in the first game of Paris BC threes. A lot of things are here to take in care. The number of balls and the type of balls that each player have. In this, each player have three balls to play. And uh, in this total of the six balls, the players can choose what type of balls they, they want to have it. And thinking in that, they choose the best, the best play to, to do. Responding at our chat, Dean, Dina Costa from Peru is playing in court number four. We also have some friends from Poland and Italy too. 
Greetings from Portugal to Dino Nolasco, a supporter for Dina Costa. Yeah, it's nice to watch that uh, people all around the world, even if it's morning, afternoon or night, you are with us watching this lovely sport, Bocha, a really inclusive game, the sport that can be played for all, but here at this level, we are with the Paralympic competition in classes VC3 at this moment. Today was a long day, this is the sixth game from the day, the sixth line of, of, of games from today. In the, in the morning, these both teams have played, Poland won the game against Italy 6-0 and Sweden lost the game against Colombia 4-1. So this is the typical start of match. Poland, after the first ball, Sweden open and place. After that, Poland open and place again. And now we will start with a more tactical approach of the game. As you can see, this ball was in better position, creating more difficulties to the opponents to open. But usually the pairs have uh, another hard ball to open this situation. From our perspective, probably Marie have some chance to try to push the jack ball to behind of the blue. That will be a great shot. Or she can try to make an easier approach, trying to remove the jack, the red ball from the from the jack. Although we are having online uh, some problems with the live results, but we are telling all, the, all of them as the ends were finished, uh, we will tell you the results in order to keep you informed about what's happening in the other courts and also in this court number one where we are staying live. So we, we can watch a good ball from Maria removing the red ball from the front of the jack and now Christian in perfect position to place the ball. Uh, the difference between here from the beginning of the end is that Damien have some balls in front of him. And because of that, the tactical approach will be very different comparing with the beginning of the end. At this moment, three balls remaining for each pair. This ball looks to be great. Covering Jack. Yeah, but you saw no, that little touch in the red ball make that make a, a little movement to our left yeah. side and give a little chance to Damien to to open this situation or or uh, try to play, to push the red to the to the to the Jack. To the Jack. Probably he will try to open this situation. Only have to be careful to make sure that he will be the next to play again, or the Poland will be the next to play again. They have but now the, the sorry, now the the shoes of the play is not so easy comparing with the previous balls, yeah. because now we we only have three balls. So. Yeah. That's where what I, uh, I was going to say. Three balls to Poland and just one, I guess. Or two, two balls to Sweden. Sweden. Yeah. <coughs> hey, you open, try to remove that blue ball from the front 
and now Edita have good line to make a ricochet using the red balls and putting the ball right in front of the of the jack. Don't don't seems for us from our perspective that Edita have uh, free free line to go to the jack. But uh, in this position can be a, a easy ricochet to to make. Oh shit. The ball was a little to the left side of the player's perspective and and because of that don't enter in the in the middle. And now I have to readjust and try to push that ball through the um, through the jack. But uh, she will use the last ball and giving to Sweden the, the chance to to finish the end with two balls. Yeah. So she, she made it, and now it's time to Sweden to think what to do. The last two balls, they have one ball in the box number three and the box number five. Each player have one ball, and when we are watching the game from this perspective, we count the boxes starting from the right to the left. One, two, three, four, five and six. The red ball starts always from the box number two when we are playing pairs. Two minutes remaining to throw these balls. Now it will be important here to have uh, maybe one hard ball to try to move that walls but the position of the Swede Sweden it's not totally easy in this even if they have two walls to play Christopher will try to knock that the red ball trying to move the jack to behind and he did it the the ball now we have a little a little gap between the red and the jack. Interesting here that uh, Maria goes to the back of the box. She will try to make a ricochet using the red and blue balls. She don't have line in the other side in the front of the box to to go straight to the jack so probably she will try to get that uh, gap between the balls and try to make a ricochet this is a more difficult ricochet comparing with the ricochet that i did try before looking from here i cannot assess very well where, where the, the ball comes so we have to see better if she will try to do that or not. She tried different positions to see the best way for her move. But the first choice was the best. As you can see, the ramp operator is in with the back to the court. And all the information sh should be given by the player. And uh, the ramp operator is, is not allowed to, in the end, my, I cannot understand what she tried to do with this ball. Watching here for the time, Mariev zero seconds. So was in the last moment 
and probably she changed a little of uh, the, the try. So 1-0 to Poland was a classical and this one with uh, good placement shots, opening shots and then the construction construction phase and uh, it, uh, there with that perfect push on the jack uh, created difficulty to to Sweden to make here something even if they have two balls left. So and again Fernando Ferreira here with us, Mateusz Janica from Poland making here the support for the Polish Tomek uh, Sierniak and it's a perfect Majta Trozinska. Sorry, my accent about and pronunciation about the names. But the important here is to give you a thought that we are here with you and, and you are watching us. It's very important for the sport to have you watching these games. And um, we are confident that we are showing the high level of the sport. So we have the results for the other courts and court two, end of the end number one finished with four to Italy, four points to Italy, zero to Japan. In court three, after the first hand, one to Greece, zero to Singapore. In court number four, two to Great Britain, zero to Peru. Remember that for, for Paris 2024, we had already qualified France, South Africa, Czech Republic, Argentina, and South Korea, Australia, Hong Kong, Thailand, and Brazil. So in this competition, we have 10 more pairs, and from then, that 10 pairs, we will get three to the last slots to Paralympic Games, so this will, is for sure one of the best competitions that we will have this year. So great start here, Christopher making one ball in perfect position, really in front of the opponents. Comparing with the first end, that the chance was for Maria to open the situation. So the player that is longer uh, or further from the, the position of the jack, now the position of the first ball uh, gives the chance to, to try to open the, um, the opponent that is close to the game situation. So it seems that the editor we will try to open this using the blue ball. And important here is to use the maximum speed with this hard ball to guarantee that the next shot will be made will be made, will be made it by Poland again. And sometimes the different types of leather that the balls have have different um, responses of the balls, but the situations. Uh, don't give uh, difficulties to open. As you said, Edita opened the jack, clearing it and leaving another shot to Poland to Damien. So Damien now seems that he's preparing, but seems that I did have better position to guarantee a good ball, and she's preparing the play. Well, 
down here. Great ball from Edita. This ball is really good. We'll create some uh, difficulties here to Christoph to open the ball. And probably Maria in better position to try to open this. The start of this second end very similar with the start of the the first end. And it seems that uh, Maria is aiming the ramp to to do the next the next shot. Supporting the cousin Dan Acosta and Jesus Romero Montoya asking for the scores. The scores I just tell them, but uh, telling again in court number one, Poland is winning Sweden 1 0. In court number two, Italy is winning Japan 4 0. In court number three, Greece is winning 1 0 against Singapore. In, in court number four, two to Great Britain, zero to Peru. Now time from Maria to try to open this situation and create a placement shot. Next. Well done here from Maria. And now will be interesting to understand if Maria will play again. The player is closer to the jack comparing with the, the colleague. But both have good line to aim the jack. All will depend about of types of balls that they have. It seems that Maria takes the lead to place the next shot. Third ball to Sweden. Only two balls played by Poland. Fernando Ferreira a pedir o resultado do primeiro parcial. Uh, não estamos com um problema técnico e por isso não estão a dar os primeiros parciais. No campo 1, um, a Polónia vence por 1-0 um a Suécia. No campo 2, a Itália vence por 4-0 o Japão. No campo 3, a Singapura está a perder por 1-0 um com a Grécia. E no campo 4, a Grã-Bretanha está a ganhar por 2-0 ao Peru. And again, Maria, great ball. No, no, we are watching almost a, re a repetition yeah. from the first, <laughs> from the, the the first, first hand. hand. Yeah. And again... Four balls remaining for Poland. Three balls to Sweden, but uh, Poland one of the key points in the BC threes is the placement of the balls in in the right lines. So this ball of Maria. Is, is in front of Edita, creating difficulties to remove that ball, and in that way, and because Damien have the hard balls at this moment, have more more chance to, to do that. And now with this little touch in the blue, create the, um, the, the space that he needs to now, with a, a push shot in the red, to, 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 to gain some advantage here in, the, in this end. The understanding between the player and the ramp operator must be perfect because they are turned back to the, to the court and they have to understand what the player needs and wants 
and what he, he must decide. And it is great to see how they can understand uh, someone with some difficulties in, in oral expression. It is fantastic. Well done. This push on ball from Damien. And this ball made two in one. I'm not totally sure if that ball will be blocking some of the lines of the opponent. Seems that Marie has some uh, line to push that the, the blue ball to the jack. But Damien still have a good position to control. Seems now that it will be Christopher that will play the, the shot. He will try to create some space between the red and the jack. perspective seems that wasn't this what he wants to do however create a situation that can be can be used by Sweden but no, no, we never know what is in the mind of the <laughs> yeah. as we told before it was great if we, we can uh, hear the minds of the, of the players <laughs> So time now for Sweden. And ball number five or six? Five. five. Ball yeah, number five. Ball. Maria have one ball <coughs> left and Christopher also one ball left. And the same in, in Poland. Both players with one ball to play. So we are going to tell the partials from the other courts. Mm. A little too pace, mm. too much pace in this ball. And ch change the turn of play. At this moment, it would be nice that Sweden have the, the chance to play the next ball, but that will play, will pass to Poland, and now Poland with a good chance to gain some advantage here in this end. Maybe the, the players, when they use the ramp, they Put, put the balls longer they ramp and probably Mar Maria sucked at that point and not give some, some so much speed and that control we saw some players using some some sheets that giving that information others don't use nothing and it's very interesting to to see how the different athletes um, made the game by themselves and that is very, very interesting to watch. So it seems that uh, will be Edita that will play her last ball. Depending if the ball is hard or soft, she will change the situation. Probably if the ball is soft, she will try to place that ball. If she has a hard ball, she will try to remove. But with this angle, it doesn't seem that she will try to remove the ball there. And the eye that she is using seems that. Is there any rule to to have the balls, uh, the hard balls and the soft balls. Uh, a player can have six hard balls. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 
the, okay. there are no rule about that. Okay. They, they, they made the, the balls and the type of balls that they thought that can be useful for them do, during the game. Usually the hard balls are balls to remove other balls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we saw here Edita, she, she tried to do two and one, to remove a little that blue and stays with, with the red, but the ball with a little more pace and gave that uh, the chance of uh, Christopher to um, to change the, the turn of play, but I think in, in the final, Damien will have Okay, but this ball don't don't enter. He tried to make a ricochet probably to enter in, in that gap between the, yeah. the two reds. Yeah. But the ricochet is really difficult to to, to manage. And we watch the previous and also Edita missing one ricochet. Uh, it's really difficult to control and to do that. Yeah, the, the ricochet is. It's always too hard to, to, to preview where the ball are, is going to stay. And now one, with one ball, one ball left, again, Damien will finish this, this end. With a good space to try to score something the board, more. The board tells two balls for, for Poland, the board there. Down two balls for for Poland. So even even more chance. <laughs> yeah, even more chance. <laughs> another another chance. <clears throat> Let's see. Seems that ball. This was the last ball of Poland and the referee will measure the final score here in court number one in Coimbra. Dani Torres. We are here with some uh, issues about the internet communication to the scoreboard and it's not and sometimes the update of the scores are not available uh, soon we will make the update of the results uh, at this moment is and the second end of uh, Great Britain against Peru we are waiting for the information of the scores So here, Elena Bastos, the referee of this game. Making the measure. But still have some doubts of the players about that. And that uh, three balls for sure. And she wants to be sure about the fourth point or not, calling the head referee to make that measure. When we wait for the measure, we have some updates from the results. End of end number two uh, in court three and four. In court three, Singapore scored a point against Greece, tying the match at one. And in court number four, Great Britain had an additional point, uh, making it three to Great Britain, zero to Peru. From this image, we, we can see the sheet that we are talking before, that the players used to assess the, the position of the balls in the ramps. Damien and uh, Maria both used some... Uh, uh, sheets with that information and they have information about the position of the balls in the ramps comparing in, with the length of the floor so that work 
takes a lot of time. It's very intense work on that. And the, the other side is very important to have the most information that you can about the balls and even the balls in the different floors. So it's very, very important to spend a lot of time uh, making that. Four points to Poland. Making it five to Poland and zero to Sweden. Yes, in the middle of the end, that little miss of Sweden make make Poland take the control and making here a massive score of four points in one hand and taking the lead of the of the match until this moment. In this hand number two, we have uh, in court two, the match still running. We'll, we'll tell you soon as it finishes the result. Now everything seems to be ready to start the third end. And now it's time to edit uh, to start this end. Comparing with the first end, um, Poland uh, use a further distance of the jack, now around uh, three and a half meters. To see if we uh, gain here some advantage or create some difficulties to Sweden in the reassessment of these new measures. The ball is close to the jack. Christian will really in better position here to open the situation. And comparing with the first end. This is really, really different. At that time was Maria that opened the situation and now will be Christian. He's aiming the Red Bull and that Red Bull will touch the jack and open easily the situation. This is an opening by the books. Well done, you're by the Swedish player. And again, time to place the ball. He will make it. Again, uh, usually during this game you are watching that the, the closest player to the jack is uh, placing the, the balls after opening. And again here, Christopher will try to place this ball right in front of the jack, trying to create the difficulties to Poland. So, and number two finished in court number two. 
Japan reduced the disadvantage to Italy, scoring two points. The result so far, four to Italy, two to Japan. This ball seems to stay a little short and this is the first time during the match that we will have three balls in a row in the starting of the match, in the starting of the end. And that can be... something to, to watch. That uh, we never know sometimes the BC3 pairs make these situations, uh, placing one ball in front of the opponent and after that ball going straight to the jack creating a block from the um, from the opponent making that the opponent using more balls to open the situation this ball was really nice and as we can talk before we, we can see from from here that the, that first ball is trying to block or block a little of Damien and the second ball is in position to to control the game. However, the players of Poland, I think that both players have line to open the situation. And we never know here from the, the commentator perspective what was the intention of the first ball of Christopher. Seems from here that Damien have the straight line to the um, game situation. He will put full power here to clearly opening this one. No, that little touch was enough to give the chance to Edita to enter in the game, assuming the lead, trying to put one ball in front of that jack. And in the lead of 5-0, the only need to try to control and uh, make the opponent use balls and control end by end, ball by ball. What a ball here, Edita. She knows that Christopher only have one ball left and this ball is right in front of Maria. Maria that have three balls. Maria have two balls left. So to manage this situation, Maria And the players are watching different lines, different options. 
to choose the best option as possible. I think that Christopher have the chance to open that Red Bull. He will pass very thin to the other blue. We'll see if the ball pass or not. Ah, touch a little. That's That line was really, really difficult, that line. So it wasn't enough to... <coughs> so this is uh, really different. And comparing with the two previous yeah. ones, uh, at this moment, seems to be difficult to Sweden is not in good position to score points here in this end. But we will understand if uh, Mary have the chance to, to change that situation, trying to move a little that blue ball, try to create that some some turning point. Or if she will be more aggressive, trying to rotate a little of that red ball there. Seems that she goes to open the situation. That at this moment, both both teams wants to wants to play at this moment. Elena Bastos, but will be Sweden here. Important this ball to Maria. Important ball, but Poland will have three balls to change this situation. Let's see what Maria will do. Score on court five, on court four, still three to Great Britain, zero to Peru. The fans are asking it on chat and we are answering. We are having some technical problems that not allowed us to have uh, live results, but still playing hand three. Sooner we will tell you the results for is hand number three. And in the middle of the, this end, when we say that uh, Sweden is in the uh, worst position to win the end, it's because they they need to be very accurate if they if want to, to win. And, and we saw here, Maria had the chance, but the ball was not so easy yeah. to ball. And so, from the beginning, I think that Poland um, taking the lead of this end and now even if um, Sweden is scoring at this moment probably uh, Poland will, will score one point here in this in this end but for that they cannot miss balls Yes, now she pushed the jack to the front. She has the, the chance to push the jack or to try to remove the blue. She pushed the jack and now uh, easy situation for Damien to score here. Seems that 
one zero at this moment to Poland. One zero to red, and now Damien have. So I have some news from oh, Gordon. Well, sorry, no, no, because this was a great placement shot from Damien, making two points. And now we with one last ball, but this will be difficult, very hard ball. But he will try to to touch in that in that ball again, try to stop. We will see. This is all, all times nice to watch this very hard ball. So we will see if the ball. Will stop or not? Double roll, roll. Uh, yeah. Seems that we'll score. Three points here for Poland. And well done by the Polish here during all this end. So sorry, you have some news about yeah. that, of course. <laughs> yeah, I have some news and some uh, changes in this in court number four uh, in this hand three. Peru scored two points, reducing the disadvantage to Great Britain. Great Britain three, Peru two. And the turnover in court number three, where Greece made four points in this hand number three, turning the score to four to Greece, one to Singapore. Uh, Greece. With the um, winning of um, this morning, gain, gaining here some advantage in the group. At this moment, Portugal is not winning, is not playing. In the first game of the morning, Portugal won the game against Singapore and stays in the lead of the group with Greece. And for Singapore, this game against Greece is very important. From Peru is the starting match in this competition against Great Britain, everything very tired there, so everything can happen and for Great Britain it will be very important to win this game, trying to get some chance to maintain in competition. But that are the counts of Pool A, but it's not time to think in counts in the groups, tomorrow we have two more rounds and after that two rounds we have more more important things to to tell about that from today we are here coming back to group b sweden against poland at this moment 8-0 to poland and sweden will try now another approach to this match we know that in the group phase is important to score as much much points as possible uh, the chances to have some ties in the position of the group uh, there are some some chances to have it so if you can make some points and reduce the differences uh, can be good in the future of this competition for you Gloria Gaviria is asking us the score in court two so far in court two four to Italy two to Japan still running hand number three we will tell the results as hand three finished placement shot of Maria almost in front of her around around seven and a half meters This ball, I think that Damien have a good line to try to place one ball between them. Winning 8-0, we will see if uh, he will try to place that ball or try to remove the the blue from there. He entered in the court, maybe, maybe trying to assess better the distance and uh, to watch with more precision the distance between the, the blue and the um, jack. And 
he is aiming. Seems that he will place this ball. He don't, don't put the ball very high on the ramp. So this will be a placement shot and he'll try to place this ball between the jack and the blue. The pace of the ball was good. The ball rolls a little to the left side of the player perspective. And probably not in the in the position that he wants but it was a decent ball in controlling of the pace so here will be important that if that ball is in front of the blue to prevent the the chance to push that ball and now Sweden with uh, some chance here to push the ball to the jack and with that red supporting that ball can be more difficult to remove in the next shot. of Maria yeah, she tried uh, well done here Maria <coughs> great ball great ball pushing the, the the blue to the jack and as we can see now and uh, both balls stay there giving a more more protect even more protections for the opening opening balls from the the opponents well done here by Maria Even if that ball is very hard and easily removable, uh, it's a ball that don't allow to to put some so much speed and power in that blue to open. Edita, we will for sure try to smash that situation. Predictable and almost stays there yeah. in between them, but she was able to open this situation. Well done! And now, with a chance to change the, and you can see even now a little movement of that blue ball. three pair games usually are long games and the players need to maintain the focus and the attention everything it's so difficult to maintain during the game that time that focus that because everything is very they need a lot of precision in the movements and then aiming the thing so I recognize that is a difficult job and even more if you are in the last game of the day. No Edita in the placement shot. Oh, the ball seems to be a little short. The line was really good. But now can easily push that ball through the jack. 
So results at the finish of hand number three in court two between Italy and Japan, two points each. So, so far six to Italy, four to Japan. Adita taking the, the lead of the pair, using three balls in a row. After opening the situation, she plays her ball and now she will try to push to change the turning. Not enough. Not enough. <laughs> Not enough. But they are creating there a good a good defense, uh, trying yeah. to prevent the, the Swedish to score points at this distance. They know that there are some difficulties by the floor to control some balls, and they are in good position. They don't have nothing to lose. They are winning yeah. zero. They know that the the win is in their side. So. Yeah, they are if just they just cautious. <laughs> even if they take a little long, no problem. They are very well in this situation. Damien will try to do the same thing again. Yeah, Another uh, ball there. Uh, this wasn't so good, but still true helping to create a barrier down there yeah they we can see they they have the chance here even in if the ball touching the ball in the middle but seems that he wants to put the balls there only want to put the ball there this ball was a field ball for sure and and they know if the swedish want to take the risk to score more points, they yeah. they have to probably touch in the red balls, and that red balls can change the game, and they have to change it again. It all depends of this first ball of, of Sweden. With four balls left, but at this distance is difficult, is even more difficult to control here and score a big number of points. But at least they have the chance with four balls left. You can see here the communication of the players is totally different. We talk in the morning when you are watching the, the Portuguese game, the players have verbal communication and here Maria uses a, a communication system, alternative communication system by words or by letters or by images and, and to be sure that they are the colleague understand what she wants and now they, they decide and they will play Three minutes remaining to throw the, these last four balls. Sometimes they remove ball by ball. We will see if they will do that. She's trying to do with this ball, or if she does what she wants to do. Yeah, it's 
It's time for Christopher to play the last balls of uh, the last two balls, the last three balls, I think, of the pair here in this game. Probably have that first ball of Maria opened uh, the chance to to enter in that blue that is scoring and try to get another ball from for there and trying to do two points. Yeah, well done here. The first placement was a placement shot in position to receive the other one, as you can see. I'm not sure, but probably two. Yeah, I'm not sure too. <coughs> it is uh, even with with the the, the, the above image. Uh, it's not sure. I'm not sure if it is closer than the first red ball. I don't know. Well done here by the team. Well, was a um, team teamwork. The first ball of Maria removing one ball, one red ball, and after that, Christopher with some space to try something, and he achieve it. Well done by as we we can saw before. And Christopher is only trying to achieve more points because. The victory is, 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 it was so hard at, at the beginning and now it is impossible. Uh, so he's trying to achieve more points. Another ball. Well, let's see if this uh, ball will, will not change. <laughs> yeah, because it, Nothing, touched, it yeah. touched the red one. Let's see the, the image from above if it is possible. Seems uh, uh, maybe that Peru won the game against Great will, Britain. I will get yes. the result. Uh, seems for here five four, but I'm not totally sure. We will stay in, and will that will be a great result from Peru if it's it's true, if it's true. We saw some some noise here in the venue, and uh, seems that comes from that uh, court. Probably a not expected result, but Peru went very, very, very well in Pan, Pan American games. So they have the value, and they are showing here why they are here to try to get a slot to Paralympic games. So Nuno, enter. So in court number four, a turnover, and Peru scored in this fourth hand. Two points, making it four to Peru, three to Great Britain. Wow. A great turnover for, for Peru. Also in court number three, uh, an extra point to Singapore, making it two, the final result for Singapore, but Greece scored four points. So winning winner Greece for Singapore two. And here one point for Sweden at this moment in, in the end of the game. Eight for Poland, one for Sweden. I think in the first two ends it was a tight game. The beginning of the of the two ends are quite well played, but um, in the third end, getting the um, the chance and making four points in one end was determinant to to win this game. And point by point by point, mm -hmm. if you you are scoring, you end winning. So well done here from Poland, they were better than Sweden, 
So tomorrow they have in good positions to achieve the place in the semi-finals. But that is tomorrow. We come to watch Boccia games in this qualification tournament. So talking about tomorrow, we are going to be back at uh, 9.45 a.m. to see Hungary versus Brazil. Hope the Brazilian are there waiting for us at mm, a quarter to 10 a.m. Uh, we'll have also Germany versus South Korea, Great Britain versus Spain and Japan versus Malaysia for round th three BC4 pairs. We will be here. Hope you will be there too. See you soon. See you tomorrow.